Have you ever thought, I cannot go forward another step? I can't. I just can't. I've done everything I could. I've gone as far as I can possibly go. I cannot go another step. I just have not got it in me. You feel you've gone more than the second mile. You've gone the third mile and the fourth mile and the fifth mile. You've gone more than you ever thought you would be able to go. And you're just absolutely worn out. And you feel, I'm just about ready to lie down and die. There's no way in which I can go through another week like I went through last week. There's no way in which I can face this domestic situation any longer. There's no way in which I can go another month in this present job situation. I just can't. I'm at the end of my tether. I'm ready just to blow the whole thing. I don't care what it costs. I don't care what I lose. I don't care whether I lose my money, my job, my wife, my children, whatever. I'm fed up. I can't take another step. Many of us have felt that. Many of us have been in exactly that spot that you're in. Moreover, I know it sounds strange and maybe almost a little hard, but the whole of life has been designed to bring you to that place. It has. And if you say, oh, yeah, yeah, I always believed that there's some demonic tyrant behind this universe who is out to string us up and torture us to death. No, no, there isn't. But there is a dear loving Father who is the creator of the universe and who made you and who thinks a lot of you. That's why he put so much into making you. You're quite a complex individual, you know. And he put that effort into you because he really does think a lot of you. In fact, actually, he loves you. And he wants you to know him and to love him. And he has put you here with the possibility of being like him. But really, you're like the rest of us. You have become anything but like him. You have become the very opposite. And he has allowed that to take place. And in order to let you know that uh, you are not going the right way, he has set up this world so that when everybody exercises their free will, you end up in the kind of miserable situation that you're in today. In other words, he so arranged it that we would all come to the end of our tethers we would begin to realize this crazy world, it doesn't work right. And it doesn't work right because it's not working the way he wanted it to. And it's not working in conjunction with him. And all the people in the world do their own thing in their own way and don't give a darn what he wants. And he knows that and he's allowed certain events and consequences to follow in this world so that we would realize that. And actually, the very situation that you're in today, however horrible it may seem to you, is exactly the situation that, not that he put you in, you've put yourself in it, and all the rest of us have helped put you in it, but it's the situation that he is satisfied with you being in, because he wants you to see you can go another step. You can go another week. You can go another month. In fact, you can go another mile. In fact, you can go another five miles. In fact, you can go another 14 miles. In fact, you can go on and on forever if need be. Because he has actually done a miracle in timeless eternity. That is, if you go out beyond the sun that you see, if you could ever get beyond the sun, and you could ever get beyond the stars and all the planets, and you could get to the way to the end of space, you'd eventually enter in, as old Einstein pointed out to us, you'd eventually enter into a timeless state where there is no space and there is no time. And it's in that state that the Creator himself is. And in that state, 
he has actually destroyed you and remade you completely. Like a manufacturer who takes a flawed uh, product back into the factory and remakes it, that's what he has done with you. He has remade you. And he did it in a way that is very visible for all of us to see. In his son, you remember Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified in the first century of our era. That was actually just the time-space expression of that in history. Uh, he actually was crucified in that spaceless, timeless zone that we talked about, that timeless, spaceless zone of eternity beyond the end of the universe. And the Creator remade you in His Son. And He remade you with the personality of His Son, with an ability to go on forever, with endless courage, with endless patience, with endless love, with the undying forbearance, with an ability to be joyous in hideous situations, with an ability to exercise unbelievable restraint and self-control. He gave you that. He put into you the personality of His Son. And that is your personality today. And it can be actualized in your life by you simply believing these words. That's what he said. He said, it will be unto you according to your faith. And if you uh, I'll receive my son into you by faith, he will begin to live in you his life, which is endlessly strong, infinitely patient, absolutely loving, and utterly competent for every situation. And you can go on in the strength of God's own Son. So yes, it is possible for you to go on. And that's why one of his followers said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Actually, you can go on. You're right, you can't go on in your own self. You can't go on in your own pitiful weakness. You can't go on in your own miserable little personality that you have inherited from your parents, but you can go on in the strength of God and of his Son because he has put his Son inside you. And the moment you believe that, that moment his Son's strength will begin to be manifested in you. And if you say, well, now, wait a minute. I mean, why can it only come when I'm at the end of my own strength? That's exactly the only time it can come. There's a verse in the old book called the Bible that says, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. The word perfect is the word that comes from the Latin perficio, complete. My strength is completed in your weakness. In other words, the Creator uses even the weakness that you have brought upon yourself and that we men and women have brought upon ourselves by our own perverted personalities. He actually uses that weakness to complete his own strength because he expresses his own strength in the very place where you are filled with weakness. And so the amazing thing is you'll still feel weak. You'll still feel, oh, no, I can't face it. Even as you've listened to me today, you'll still feel, oh, but I am weak. I am weak. I'm worn out emotionally. Yeah, physically, I'm worn out mentally. Yes, you'll still feel that weakness. But if you believe that his strength is in you, despite that feeling of weakness, if you believe that his strength is in you, his strength will actually manifest itself through your weakness. It'll come right through it. And when you feel you have no strength, when no more patience left, no more forbearance left, no more happiness left, his strength will manifest itself through you if you simply believe that. And so it's hard, I know, to believe. But your present situation is not at all the end. It, in fact, is the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the end of the beginning of a new life for you. And all you need to do is believe that these things are really true. And in future weeks, we'll back them up. I'll show you how they're explained in that old book called the Bible. So you'll see why you need to believe it, or why you ought to believe it, or should believe it, or what right you have for believing it. But the fact is, today, you can start. This is not the end. Get up. God will give you the strength. All you have to do is believe that he will, and he will. It's yours. Get up. Let's get going. You can do it.
Let's talk a little more about it.